Australia's Attorney General has been appearing in the International Court of Justice in a case against Japan's annual whale hunt in the Southern Ocean. Japan has accused Australia of mounting an alarmist crusade against what it calls is a scientific program. Joining us now from The Hague is the Attorney General Mark Dreyfus. Mr Dreyfus, good morning. Good morning, Michael. What was the crux of your argument before the court? Uh, we've commenced our summing up, the second round in the case, Michael, and uh, just excuse me with the earpiece here. Um, yes, we've commenced the second round of our argument in the case, and uh, our, essentially our case is that Japan's so-called scientific whaling in the Southern Ocean, under which they've killed more than 10,000 whales since 1988, just isn't scientific and so is a breach of international law. Why isn't it scientific? Uh, it's not scientific because it's not supported by any proper hypothesis. Japan called an expert who was unable to explain how they'd selected even the number of minke whales that, are th that has been the Japanese target for many years. And when you can't explain why you are killing that many whales, when you can't identify for a court what is the purpose of the activity in a scientific sense, uh, we feel we're entitled to say, and our experts say, it's not science at all. Japan has made some fairly strongly worded claims against Australia during the course of this hearing. As you'd well know, it's accused Australia or Australia's anti-whaling stance as being nothing short of a civilising mission, a, a crusade of sorts. What do you say or what did you say in the court to that sort of argument? Uh, we've said very clearly that this case is not about cultural difference. In no sense is Australia in, in seeking to impose Australian cultural views on Japan. This is a case about science. Uh, it's a case about uh, assessing, and we're inviting the court to assess whether or not what Japan has been doing in the Southern Ocean is scientific research. We say it's not. That's the issue for determination. And it shouldn't be clouded by the kinds of matters that Japan has been seeking to raise, which we say are essentially irrelevant. And another matter in that category that has been raised is Japan accusing Australia of effectively being in league, in bed with the anti-whaling group Sea Shepherd. What do you say to that? And we've wholly rejected that accusation as just a little ridiculous. Uh, Australia, along with a number of other countries, the United States, New Zealand, the Netherlands, have called for both Japan and Sea Shepherd vessels to respect international law in the Southern Ocean. Uh, that's our expectation. In no sense uh, do we condone any breach of international law by Sea Shepherd or anyone else. The fact that Sea Shepherd vessels are some of them registered in Australia or that they come to Australian ports is no more than a reflection of uh, the entitlement that everyone has under Australian law. One of the arguments put up by uh, one of the lawyers for Japan in the course of this hearing is that, uh, A, it, in, in his view, it was clearly a scientific program, but in, in, in being a scientific program, what Japan was doing was helping preserve whale stocks in the Southern Ocean. Does that argument hold water? Uh, no. We say that you've got to have a scientific research objective. You've got to have a hypothesis. It's got to be something that's designed in accordance with uh, accepted principles of science and the Japanese so-called scientific whaling program satisfies none of those criteria. Uh, we called two experts in the case and the Japanese expert was really unable to answer their criticisms and really unable to explain how this was a scientific program. Uh, that's what the case is about. It's certainly not going to be about cultural difference and certainly not going to be anything to do with the Sea Shepherd. Because uh, it, I mean, if it stands to reason, isn't it, Attorney General, if, you, if you're harpooning whales, if you're killing whales, you're, you're hardly uh, preserving whale stocks, you're depleting them. And I think a lot of Australians would have a great deal of difficulty with that proposition. We say you've got to look for non-lethal means of conducting research on whales and Australian scientists, scientists from a lot of other countries are conducting non-lethal research. Just last summer we had Australian scientists achieve a world first which was putting a satellite tracking device on, uh, an, on a blue whale and that will enable the study of that whale in a way which doesn't harm it. Uh, we think that that's something that we should be looking at 
uh, well ahead of uh, lethal means of research, which is what uh, on J Japan's case they've been engaging in. But using those lethal means, they've killed more than 10,000 whales since 1988. Okay. When are we uh, expecting a decision here? We're hoping that the International Court of Justice will hand down its judgment before the start of the next whaling season. So that's, uh, we're hoping, before the end of this year. And just another quick question as Attorney General Mark Dreyfus, and it's very much a case in your part of the world at the moment. You would have been following the case of Jock Palfreyman, the Australian man sentenced to 20 years jail in Bulgaria. Now, the Belgian prosecutor overnight has denied his request to serve the remainder of his jail term in Australia. Uh, firstly, are you across that? And secondly, is is the Australian government going to have a say on that? Uh, that's the first I've heard of it. Uh, of course, uh, we're concerned for any Australians in prison anywhere in the world. Uh, we do engage in trying to make arrangements with other governments to enable Australian citizens who are serving a jail sentence elsewhere in the world to be permitted to serve the balance of that jail sentence in Australia. But I can't comment on what particular arrangements uh, we have with Bulgaria. Uh, there's a prisoner transfer arrangement in place at the very least, isn't there? Uh, as I say, it's the first I've, I've heard of the particular instance there. Uh, I was aware of Mr Palfreyman's imprisonment, uh, but those developments you've just mentioned to me are uh, something that I've just become aware of. OK, I appreciate that. Mark Dreyfus, Attorney-General, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you, Michael.